Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Dr. Easy coming back to you guys today with a review of a headphone amplifier, otherwise known as the O2 or Objective 2. Now, this headphone amplifier was designed by a call, guy called NWAV Guy, and he essentially made this amplifier because he was sick of all the snake oil and all the bullshit going on in the audiophile world. Uh, and basically what this was meant to be was a reference class headphone amplifier at the best price possible. Uh, in other words, this is a really high-end headphone amplifier. And it's touted as being gain on wire, which essentially just amplifies whatever's coming into it. And it amplifies it crystal clear. But we'll get onto the sound later. Let's look at the packaging. And essentially, this is a model by JDS Labs. There's another manufacturer called Mayflower Electronics that make this. And this is the model by JDS Labs. So anyway, I'm going to be reviewing this model. I don't know what the Mayflower Electronics model is like, but I'm sure it's just as good um, since it's a reference-based design. But first off, you'll notice when you get this product, it comes boxed extremely well. Uh, JDS Labs really pay attention to detail, and they pack it in anti-static wrapping as well. They also give you a little hint or you know a start guide, which has some good tips on there as well to get this thing going. Now, the build quality of this thing, the build quality of this thing is exceptional. It feels really sturdy, really Really solid. It looks like it could take a fall. The um, the the, the casing is made of uh, steel and it's a nice matte black finish that really feels smooth and good in your hands. Uh, the honestly, everything's located on the front, so you've got the power button, the um, volume knob, the gain button, the in and out, uh, and the power or power in all on the front of the headphone amplifier now some people might not like this I honestly don't care and I actually find it pretty convenient since it's for desktop use now this model is also pretty portable but it weighed in about 370 grams on my scale so honestly I don't really see myself porting this thing around too much however with a laptop and if you need reference grade you know sound quality and uh, it could be of use if you need that portable function now one thing uh, one sort of negative about this is it does take um, I mean it's a good thing it takes AC voltage but it's also negative in that it's hard to find an adapter I lived in Japan and there was literally only one adapter that I could find for this headphone amplifier it was pretty crazy uh, you know it was an old secondhand modem AC so you gotta be careful when you look for a voltage adapter for this uh, it's gonna be an AC AC adapter and it has to be from 14 to 20 volts uh, vac so it's pretty hard to find an uh, an adapter for these but once you find that adapter and you fire this thing up it is really good uh, one thing i'll point before we move on to sound quality too is that the power button feels really good there's a nice subtle red light that goes on as well um, to let you know um, that it, it's on it's really nice and subtle it looks good the jacks feel really solid as well uh, the gain buttons nice and um, firm as well easy to push and the volume knob is nice and stiff and I don't see that moving accidentally by any chance so really good the build quality is top-notch I'd give it a 10 out of 10 for build quality it feels good everything on it works really well uh, let's look at the sound quality now though it comes with a two first of all it comes with 2.5 um, decibel gain which it's recommended to have this off unless you absolutely need it. Uh, JDS Labs, by request, will also put this up to 6.5 decibel gain if you need it. Uh, honestly, I found, though, listening to this thing, which literally the knob, like one, maybe six of the way up, that was the highest I could go. Any louder, it would send any headphone I had here to deafening levels. So this thing definitely has so much power at your disposal. Um, it's scary. It's actually overkill. Uh, for pretty much anything I've got here now this the sound quality of this you know people say it's gain on Y and that's exactly true when I tested it out with my co s9 my creative Z direct line out uh, stereo direct out and the Realtek 1150 I could start to hear differences between all these three DACs the Realtek 1150 was slightly behind the co s9 and the creative Z um, the creative Z's line out direct stereo line out was phenomenal it was one of the best things I've ever heard uh, this coupled with this was phenomenal. Uh, really brought the music to life. I mean, just gave it that little edge. However, with standard headphones, this is one thing I'm going to point out. This headphone is intended for high-end headphones. It's intended for people who have maybe spent maybe five, $500 to $1,000 on headphones and want the best. Uh, I did use these, and I mean, most of the differences came out pretty much only when I used my Fidelio X1s, which are a high-end headphone. So any other headphone here, for instance, my Audio Technicas, um, you know, the sound quality wasn't all that different. It wasn't night and day, you know. I wouldn't, if you have a low-end or, you know, mid-range headphones, say $100 headphones or $50 headphones, 
you're not going to benefit from going out and spending $80 on a sound card and, you know, $120 on a headphone amplifier. So when this sort of this thing, its value for money really starts to appreciate when you're coupling it with high-end gear. And for instance, you know, Fidelio X1s even, and you can start to hear those little subtle differences and you're chasing it. Uh, honestly, for me, I mean, I'm not really an audiophile. I think, you know, an audiophile is someone who has a passion for audio. They listen with their music, you know, they listen to music with their eyes closed. It's their passion. They love audio. For me, it's not really my passion. I can't really justify spending $120 you know, on an amplifier and, you know, $80 on a sound card to get, you know, that little bit extra, that, you know, that cl that extra clarity, that extra detail, um, you know, I, I need that money for my own personal use. So anyway, am I going to recommend this unit? Yes, I'm going to highly recommend this unit. It's a legit product from a legit company that works and it works really well. When would I recommend this? I would recommend this honestly with high-end headphones. It is a high-end amplifier at a great price and it'll do exactly what it says it'll do. So uh, if you have any questions about this headphone amplifier, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, it's a solid state amplifier. It really doesn't, it just really gives you a clean signal. It's, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful unit. And um, at the end of the day, it's nice. So really good product from JDS Labs. Uh, I'd imagine the Mayflower Electronic One is just as good. So it's a legit product at a legit price. Highly recommend it. It's pretty much end game. I consider this headphone amplifier end game because that's what it is. Really good, really good item. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. I will be reviewing this Sound Blaster Z next. It does have some flaws, but anyway, we'll get on to that in the next review. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I am going to go. Peace out for now. Bye.